Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, July 29th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're somebody that uses charts within your decision-making process as a trader, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about the tool of charts to make good decisions as a trader, then this will be a video for you. And real quick on that note, if you are a beginner, somebody that's new and just interested in learning more about charts and how to use them to, like I said, make good decisions, then just keep in the back of your mind that I am offering a free live class uh, that'll be tomorrow actually on Thursday, uh, July 29th. So if you're interested, you can sign up if you're watching on YouTube down in the description area, or if you're watching at claytrader.com, there'll be plenty of other areas on the screen that you can click to get signed up for it. So like I said, just keep that in the back of your mind as I go through the content if you like what you see. First one here, ticker symbol BTBT. And really, I like this one for one reason and run, well, I guess not the only reason, but uh, the main reason is that there is just such a well-defined breakout area now. Right up here at $9.45, everybody and their brother's uncle, as far as breakout players are concerned, is gonna be watching that level. So I'm not trying to come across like it takes some sort of great skill on my part to be able to notice that and draw that line. I assure you that people that use charts, understand charts, are watching that area where it's now been rejected twice. And I say all, all that because when a lot of people are watching the same area, wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, uh, but it is, you know, when those levels are broken, they can, you know, uh, you know, create good solid buying pressure. Nothing's guaranteed, but my point here is this, that it is a more than valid thought that if the price works its way back up to that area again and can get the break of that area, that that break in and of itself could, like I said, really create a whole bunch of upside momentum. And then of course, you gotta like the fact that the volume came in once again very strongly. Things were looking a little sketchy back there on Wednesday where the volume really dropped off. But like I said, the volume has shown back up again, got a little bit of a pullback right here. But all in all, if you wanna draw it like that, you could call you know a nice little bull flag pattern here. But like I said, the main dynamic here that I think myself and a lot of other people around the world will be watching from the breakout perspective is all about that 945 mark. So let's see if the price can get the break of it or not. Next one here, ticker symbol AMC. I will say that this will mean a whole lot more to those of you that have watched the past top 10 videos. Uh, but even if you haven't, uh, you know, the levels that I've talked about previously, I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. Is technical analysis perfect? No, nothing is perfect. But like I said, and you don't have to take my word for it. All you got to do is go back in the video archive and watch a video that I did previously on this one. And you'll see I talked about both these levels. And why don't you know it? Both these levels played a role in how AMC traded today. The first area right there, that tread line that I put in a place. And like I said, why don't you know it? Gap down, came down, and look right where it consolidated out and then had a very nice bounce from that area. So that tread line, perfect example on the power of charts and tread lines. So I'm actually gonna extend this out and we're gonna continue to watch that tread line there from the support side of things. And then on the flip side, the level that I also talked about, hopefully you remember, that pink line there, the 200 period moving average, and there was a nice bounce off that support, but why don't you know it? Look right where the price is once again struggling, right at that pink line. You just can't make this stuff up. Again, I understand, um, you know, it may sound like, okay, you're just saying that with hindsight, but all you gotta do, like I said, go back and watch the video from uh, July 27th and you'll see I talked about both those areas. And again, I don't say any of this to pat myself on the back, but I do say it to pat technical analysis on the backs uh, because, you know, like I said, not a perfect tool, but something that's, you know, very, very helpful. So moral of the story is this kind of a case of deja vu. The levels that I talked about previously still pertain. Tread line, still main area of support. That 200 period moving average now valid at 39.36, main level of resistance. So let's see how it goes on Thursday. Next one here, ticker symbol TLRY, and very, very impressive movement. Good to see that the volume came pouring in here, and overall the price reacted very nicely with it. Little miniature little pullback here, nothing drastic or anything like that, uh, but that does get a couple of the, the key levels here mapped out that I want to kind of put into play. So the first area from more of a, a support part, so let me change that to green to represent like I said, the support part of the pattern. You're gonna be right there, that tread line there. Now, if you're not a fan of that tread line, if you're like, no, Clay, I don't agree with how you drew it. I mean, I wouldn't argue against that, uh, but another area that you could use as a potential, whoops, let's change this to, uh, there we go, another area. Well, that was a failure. Let's try it again. There we go, another area right down there at $15.30. But point here being both those levels would be more so the supports for those that are potentially interested in playing pullbacks. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, squeeze this down here a little bit because that next main overarching level is gonna be right. I don't think it hit it today. I guess we'll see. Relatively close, but right up there around $16.75. 
which going back to the history of things, you can see uh, knocked down the price quite a few times there. But overall, moral of the story is, you know, big volume today, nice price movement, not just a question of is this the start of something much bigger? Can the next couple of days build upon this momentum? And the next clue that, uh, you know, the stock is not only staying strong, but even getting stronger, it's all about that level at 1675. So let's see how it goes. Next one here, ticker symbol SNDL. Very, very impressive movement. Volume came surging back in and things were looking pretty rough. I mean, had this nasty downtrend to it, but got the break of the trial on there, especially that opening 30 minutes right there. Uh, so opening 30 minutes and then has consolidated. I should have probably noted at the beginning that I've been doing 30 minute time frames. Uh, hopefully you notice right up there, it says 30 representing 30 minutes. Uh, but point here being life has come back. Not just a question of can this build upon itself? Can this thing show more signs of power? Now, I, I, I get it. Me just saying show more signs of power, those are just words. But that's why I do love charts is they allow you to take words and phrases and make them more visual. So when I say show more signs of power, and this is, not, again, uh, like the first one, BTBT, this is not some sort of revolutionary discovery on my part. I assure you that all sorts of people have noticed that level right up there at 89 cents. You go back through the history of things, and you can see rejected the price rejected the price and rejected the price again. So that is by far gonna be that main area of resistance. That'll be the, the key breakout point. So you know that there's gonna be a bunch of breakout players watching that, but also to be fair, for those people that like, you know, don't wanna risk, you know, buying breakouts and may potentially chasing, and they wanna have pullbacks. Well, I mean, you got that right here. So a nice little pattern right there. So if I put that down there, and we'll put the golf hole down there to make it a little bit more visual. So a bull pennant pattern for you golfers out there is another way you can look at it. But moral of the story here, uh, that 89 cent mark is gonna be that level that people around the world are gonna be watching and wondering, can the price get the break up through it? So let's see how it goes. Next one here, ticker symbol EDU. We talked about this previously about how it was looking like this could have potentially been the bottom and we're getting more and more data that this is potentially the bottom uh, as the price has now actually got a little upward slope to it. Uh, still struggling though at that area of resistance right around the 250 mark. What I'm actually gonna do is adjust this level up here um, and we'll call it now 255. I mean, if you still wanna leave it at 250, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna argue against that. But the key dynamic here is that there has now been officially a little bit of an uptrend that's, you know, can has has begun to be constructed right there. Now, obviously not a massive uptrend. It's basically one day. Uh, but like I said, everything's got to start somewhere. And as far as kind of just putting together some more evidence that, all right, maybe this is some sort of bottom. Maybe there is going to be a bigger bounce that occurs. Uh, then, you know, you're, you're getting more and more data like that uh, moving forward. So I'm going to get rid of that level right now. But it's still really, in my mind, boils down to the, the 250-ish, 255-ish mark. Because right now, what you want to be very careful of is you know you know you don't you don't want to get trapped in some sort of you know nasty choppy sideways channel pattern where you, you just get chopped to pieces. Uh, but where if the price could come up there and get the break up through there again, that doesn't guarantee guarantee anything. No guarantees in the market. But does it become a little bit more valid and rational at that point to start to think? All right, yeah, maybe this is the start of a bigger move to the upside. Yeah, absolutely. So 250, 255, still gonna be that main range uh, for those people that maybe like to try to play bounces. If the price pulls back again to that dollar ninety mark, uh, you know, it, it's again not guaranteed, but rational to think given that it's happened several times before that the price could bounce off that area. So another area to consider. Uh, but overall, like I said, got the little miniature uptrend formed. Let's see if this is gonna continue to build with more power over Thursday and Friday. Next one here, ticker symbol AMD. Absolutely monster, monster move, had earnings uh, and had several questions on this, rightfully so, because you gotta be you know, careful with this from the, the trading perspective. If you're investing for the next 40 years, then yeah, it, it doesn't matter. But from a trading perspective, you, you don't want to chase the price. You don't want to buy way too high because you get caught up in FOMO and all the excitement. And, you know, the good news is final 30 minutes, the price did start to pull back here. Uh, but you got to think that this thing wants to pull back a bit more than, than even what it has right there. Who knows? Maybe it just goes into total beast mode and just can, continues to essentially go straight up. But I mean, today was basically straight up. I mean, it had a crazy opening 30 minutes, went down there. I mean, look at that beautiful bounce right off the 200 period moving average. And then essentially spent the entire day going for the most part, straight up. So like I said, got to think that there might be some sort of pullback here, which brings the question, okay, well, where are some potential support areas on any sort of pullback? And, you know, if it were me personally, you know, I, I wouldn't really be interested until down around 95. Now you may completely disagree with me on that. And I 100% respect that. I, I realize that may be, geez, Clay, you think that this thing need, is, is going to pull back all the way down there? I have no idea. My point is, from, you know, as far as my personal risk tolerance is concerned and, you know, uh, risk versus reward, to me, $95 makes, uh, uh, you know, would make me feel comfortable. But hey, you know what? You got to think for yourself. You got to put on trades that align with your personal risk tolerance. Who knows? Maybe you think $95 is still way too aggressive. Uh, but pointer being 95 seems to be an area that I could see the price potentially coming down to 
or if this thing's just going to continue on up. Well, at that point, it's pretty straightforward. Just a question of, okay, where did the party and momentum stop today? And that was up there at the highs of that 98.75 mark. So keep an eye on that. But like I said, as of now, uh, the pointer being massive volume, big price movement. So there should be some good solid volatility over the next couple of days. But you, like I said, you want to just be careful and don't want to get too too much caught up in the excitement. But if there is some sort of deeper pull back here, then it could be a very interesting setup. Next one here, ticker symbol NAOV, and about pull this one off, but I'm gonna leave it on the list just because the latter part of the day was a big disappointment with the way that it, it, it fell. Now, the reason why it's staying on the list is the price is still up above that 50 period moving average, the pink line there. Um, so, you know, it's still got an overall trend to it, but yeah, had it closed, you know, up above $2, that would have made things look just so much better. Uh, but like I said, given that it is still above that 200 or 50 period moving average, I'm gonna still cut it some slack. But you know the level here that I was really focused on, and you know getting ready to talk about, it, and we'll still talk about it. But right there at 250, like I said, had the price closed up above two dollars somewhere right around here, oh, that would have been a great consolidation where you know potentially get the break up through there. Uh, but now it's just got a whole lot more work to do because now it's got to start from all the way down here and then come all the way back up there to 250 uh, before it could potentially break out, which could definitely happen. I mean, this one, case in point, right here can move very very quickly. So it's not like 250 is out of the the realm of possibility. But point here being, it's, it's just got more work to do with that bigger pull back there. Now, if the price comes down there and just blasts down through that uh, purple line there, the 50 period, then at that point, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's looking like the, the chart is officially kind of falling apart. Now, could the chart always fix itself? Yeah, but as far as, you know, what would be the area where the chart is the kind of officially falling apart? To me, it's all about that 50 period moving average valued right around the $1.78 mark. So yeah, keep an eye on 250 and we'll see if there can be any sort of recovery or not. Next one here, ticker symbol DIDI and... Uh, like AMC, this will mean more to those of you that have watched past videos. Uh, but I put that tread line in place and just said, you know, I, I get it. This thing just gets beat down and down and down. But you got to think at some time it's going to make the move. And today it's really starting to flex its muscles. But I mean, check this out. Price gapped up above that tread line, pulled back. And look where, right where that bounce happened. A back test of the tread line and then up it went. So a classic. You could throw this right into a textbook in terms of... Uh, you know, tread line back test. So good to see that that occurred. I'm going to go get, go ahead and get rid of that tread line there because that is the context right now is that there is this tread line breakout. Now it's just a question of, hey, you know what? Can this thing build upon itself? Can it build some more momentum? And the level that I would definitely call a muscled area of support right now moving forward is going to be right there at $8.25. And this level is so important. And I'm not saying it'll occur, but just for explanation's sake. But if the price were to come to $8.25 and then just continue on down, all of a sudden you would have the price quite literally right back to where it was and not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that make a great move, that break out, and then all of a sudden go back to where they were. Not really a great sign of power, but as long as the price can stay up above that 825 mark, then that does still imply that the set of lows is right there, or I should say the new set of lows is there, which when compared to the previous sets, and if you envision those as stair steps, you would still have stair steps in the upward direction. So that's why to me, 825, very, very important level. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, key level there, right up there around 925, which was essentially just where the party stopped today. But overall, like I said, getting some upwards pressure, not just a question of can the pressure, you know, build upon itself a bit more to at least get up over $10. Let's see how it goes on Wednesday, or excuse me, on Thursday. Next one here, down in the world of penny stocks, ticker symbol PHIL, and done this one for a while. Uh, but, you know, what really caught my eye on this one was, uh, you know, saw this this morning and thought, ooh, things are not looking so good. To think that the price had dropped all the way down there, but was able to recover all the way back up there. Now, granted, the price has pulled back here a little bit, but still, when you factor in the context of just how far down it was to the recovery that it made, I mean, still more work to be done, as I'm going to map out here. But, you know, when you, when you see sorts of, you know, crazy movement like this where a price makes such a big recovery, it's worth at least keeping an eye on. And from the resistance side of things now, and I made the comment about still more work that needs to be done. And that's going to be all about this tread line up here now uh, that we have more data. Very clear that, you know, just looking through the history of things, this general area has presented, you know, quite a bit of a challenge for the, the bulls whenever it's gotten up around that area. But like I said, this is not really based on the tread line. What makes this interesting? What makes this interesting is how bad it was beat down, how much it's recovered. So now headed over the next couple of days, really just a question of can this beat down continue on up? and then potentially get the break of that tread line. So we'll see how it goes over the next few days. Next one here, ticker symbol INFI, and beautiful, beautiful setup. All eyes, definitely gonna be watching that pink line right there. As I've said in past uh, charts, the 200 period moving average right now valid at 257. And you gotta like the setup here, uh, you know, great pattern. So gapped up, came up, pulled back, 
consolidated out nicely and then spent the latter afternoon with a nice upwards trend there as volume came back in and increased a little bit here. So just to really continue to reiterate, does that guarantee anything? Of course not. Does it make it a logical, does it make it a rational thought to now have at, hey, I think this thing's got a chance to get up there and break through that 200 pair moving average. That is absolutely more than logical and rational given that, you know, the, the consolidation and then upwards movement that occurred in the afternoon here. And then if the price can push up through that 200 period moving average, next key overarching level gonna be right up there around $2.70. But before you put too much attention on 270, again, the price first just needs to break above that 200 period moving average. As far as areas of support are concerned, the level here that would, you know, by far make this chart look the healthiest and strongest moving forward is if the price can continue to hold above the 50 period moving average which is right now valid at $2.14. But all in all, got to like the setup. Got to like the late day action. So let's see if this can continue on into Thursday and get the push up through these next couple areas of resistance. And as I wrap things up here, another quick reminder, and I just want to personally invite you to this live class that I'm offering on Thursday. So if you did like what you heard and you're thinking that you want to learn more about charts, maybe just approve on them to help use them as a tool to build consistency as a trader, then like I said, the class will be on Thursday. July 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So definitely get signed up for it. Also, as far as the top 10 video is concerned, if you like this structure, if you like the format here, then please communicate that to me by doing two very easy things. Hit the like button, leave a simple comment. It could just be a thumbs up emoji, but those two things communicate to me that you know taking the time to make these videos is worth my time. And as long as I know that you're enjoying this top 10 format, then I will continue to make these uh, sorts of videos. So like I said, just let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a very basic comment. And again, if you wanna learn more about charts and how to become consistent by using them uh, as a tool within your trader tool belt, then definitely get signed up. Thanks for hanging out.